Yo guys, Master Markov here, and welcome to another Steam One Shot with Chris Tales. So today we're going to be playing another Next Fest 2021 game demo, and I have been waiting a while to actually do Chris Tales because it is a very has one put this complex turn-based RPG game that I usually never really like, except for the ones that I really, 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 really like, which is basically just Pokemon. And I don't know how better to describe it then. This is either going to be amazing for me or real, real bad. <laughs> not that I'm not good at them. I just get, you know, bored of them easily. I'm sorry. It's a turn base. If I have the action in my hands, then, well, I could do what I want when I want as fast as I want and fail as often as it makes it fun. Not to mention the time-based thing. The town. Good? Oh, what? Um, what is the next... What is the OK button? This is a real fight, Chris Bell. Time to use your new skills. Guess it's space. Be swift, be precise. First, select attack, and then choose your target. Finally, just as the attack connects, press the button one more time to do a double slash. Great. So we got Super Mario controls up in this. Okay, so how do I select... What? Okay, attack with Storm Slide. Sure. God, I don't like that that's... Getting that second hit requires precise timing. Make sure you press the button again right as your attack hits the enemy. Okay, I get it. Very good, Spell. Got it. Alright, cool. Watch for your opponent's attack and press the button right when they hit you to block most of the damage. That's not too bad then. Nicely done. Huh? Now give it your all. Finish it off. It didn't look like it like actually hit me. Hmm. I don't want to see what skill does. Well done, Chris Bell, but I'm afraid our work is not done here. Ooh. Oh, no XP and no gold gain. Great! Oh, shoot. Who are you supposed to be? Hello, my name is... Tell me if we survive. You know how to fight? Let us show him. Hmm. I guess I should... Who should I attack first? I don't even know. Can I use skill? I don't have any skills yet. Really gotta perfect that timing. I'm so used to, like... Got it. Okay. Alright, I see. It's just weird with his attacks. Oh. Oh, I thought he was about to attack. That was a deflect. Jesus Christ. Not bad. I'm Christopher, by the way. Chris Bell. Let's get him. Oh. Uh oh. I was expecting him to do that. Shoot. I guess that works. Shoot. And no XP gain. Because of course not. Could be that easy. Oh! There. It's too late. Uh oh. Been chasing those things since I left St. Clarity. We've got to stop them before they reach town. And exactly how do you plan to do that? Hold your ground. They won't get past us. <laughs> Look, Volcano! They broke our poor goblins! How adorable! Can we keep them? Gally, we've talked about this. No more pets until... Till I stop murdering them! I know, I know! How are you gonna know until you get a pet? Play. Not my fault they're all so... squishy! Oh, <laughs> and that's why we can't have nice things. This ain't gonna be good. Oh, oh shoot! Work. We can't touch them. 
Hmm, not if I use my skill of water! Not even a scratch? But they are soaked. Oh god. You can't take much more of this. Crispell, yes, you can. Time. Use the crystals! The crystals. The what now? Har har. The crystals and then immediately goes into Chris Tales. Welcome to Maram Town. Ooh. Maram Town looks nice. Ooh. Ooh. Are we gonna, you know, explain why there's a talking frog, though? Wait, my rose! Crispell! Crispell! Where are you? Crispell! I better not keep her waiting. Sounds smart. Okay, use that to move and press the Z to interact with people or objects. Oh, I really should have done this with a controller. I should talk to Mother Superior first. Ah, oh, man. See, my, my thing isn't, like, made for this. I miss your grandma, Chris. And how it used to be around here. I'm sure you do. Uh, can I get that rose back, though? See, a talking frog in a top hat stole it. And I just, I just need a minute real quick. I'll just go talk to him, and I'll be right back. Also, I like that there's a frog icon on my screen, which is kind of weird. Hmm. So many chores. The kids in town get to go out and play. Does that mean... Hold up. Uh, this didn't connect to town, did it? I would like to see real quick. I should talk to Mother... All right, all right, fine, fine, fine. Also, wow, look at that view. Look at this. I love how the world moves around you. Bell, finally. It's like a 2.5D kind of situation. Where it's weird, like, all the, the background images look like they're 2D, but they move, like, Doom style, as if they move in a 3D space. Did you prune the roses yet? I'm sorry, Mother Superior. It's just my rose. He, the frog, it took it. Enough, enough. I've seen that look before. Find that rose, then hurry back. There's work to do and no time to waste. Go on. Yes, Mother Superior. Thank you, Mother Superior. And be careful. I worry about you. Alright, well, I guess it's time to go find that frog. Where am I supposed to find this frog? Oh, wait. What the heck? I did not see you there. If I pick every strawberry right now, maybe I won't have to do it ever again. Unfortunately, that's not how that works. Also, I feel like I've heard that voice actor before. Also, were these here before? I don't remember those rose petals being there before. A to check your current objective. Oh, so it's just hint. Uh, it's just check the objective. I have to get my... You have to get your rose back. Yes, yes, yes. But, um, I would like to talk to everybody else here. What a lovely day for a walk in the woods. No dialogue, really. Just a monologue. Kind of strange. Orphanage. Crispell, what's the hurry? And then, of course, my character ends up looking like the orphan. As soon as I say that. As soon as I say, hmm, a narrow orphanage. And then I see Marco just on the screen. How great. Well, sure. Maybe wearing a top hat? Carrying a rose? A uh, top hat? Then no. Maybe try the mayor's estate? There's always something going on there. I'll try. Thanks, Marco. Sorry to bother you. No problem at all. Are you kidding? 
That's the most interesting thing I'll hear all day. You're a good kid, Marco. That uh, yeah, yeah, I know I need to find the frog. I was hoping that I'd be able to see more that way. It looked like it might expand, but I guess not. Check out the cool sticker we found. It's a skull. Ooh, where? Check out the cool Oh, aw. Oh, was that the pendant? Uh, I thought that was a pendant. I was gonna say, I thought you found like a sticker and we're gonna actually show me a sticker sticker. Why would someone do this? Why? What do they do? Do they take down the tapestry? I can't really tell. Is there vandalism on your shop? Yeah, yeah. Good morning and all that. Or does this feel like uh, that one game Almost Heroes with some of the artwork? Though I wish that game had some voice acting. If it did, oh man, that would be good. But there's not enough cutscene for it. That Marco is never home. He'll inherit this one day. He should help me take care of it. I mean, he's right down the street. Don't blame Marco, just because he's, you know, over there. Plus, he's trying to... Ooh, that is a nice suit of armor. Think about the future. It's not just the farms that will be renovated. It's the orphanage, the shops, the whole town. Your future fouls the land, poisons the water. Goblin raiding parties are burning our fields. Money, power. Your precious industry. That's all you care about now. How dare you? Where's your proof? Hmm. Look around you. Look at our cross. Then sell your lands, Robert. Don't let it trouble you any longer. It's what's best for the town. It's best for someone, but not the town. You seem to be doing just fine. Now see here, I never... Mr. Mayor. We have a visitor. Hello, Crisbell. What do you want? Hello, Miss Lana. I was looking for a yellow frog with a top hat. Of course you were. Try the northern fields. That's where all the little pests go, hmm? May the lady light your way, Crisbell. Too many in town have strayed from her grace. Oh, thank you. I should go. Yeah, I'm not sure I like how this... Oh, wait, hey, there you are! Why, you little... Come back here! Where'd you go? Did you go this way? Okay, nope. Alright, where did that frog go? And why do I feel like I'm gonna end up with the frog going all the way back, but I'm meant to go this other way or something? Went this way? Stopped here. Hi, Polly. How are things? I don't know, Chris. I just saw your dad. Oh, shoot. With the mayor. I accidentally skipped. He seemed really angry. Again? I keep telling him to trust the mayor. We need his soldiers to protect us. But it's always we give the lady our trust. Everyone else has to earn it. Sorry, Chris. What's up? I'm looking for a little yellow frog. He was wearing a hat, a top hat. He took my rose. <laughs> a frog and a top hat. Only you, Chris Bell. I haven't seen it, but I'll keep my eyes open. Thanks, Polly. Maybe I should pray to the lady about it. <laughs> you have been talking to my father. Well, if you're looking for a miracle, I suppose the cathedral's as good a place as any to try. Yeah, but shouldn't the frog be like somewhere- Aha! Around here! Come back here, you! You hoppy little menace, I will get you! Though I do want to check out the rest of these fields, though. And look at this, this place looks nice. Ooh! Flask of Feathers was added to your bag. Flask of Feathers? the heck am I going to make a slow fall potion? What the heck is that? Hmm. Though I do hope I get to go back this way. Say, if I want to go down here, can I still go down here and then go to the right here beyond these guys? I would really hope that I can because I would really like to see if there actually is a chest there. Well, it looks like there is. 
Healing juice was added to your bag. Healing juice? Juice? What do you mean by healing juice? Also, what the heck is that? It's a guard? It's a person? They're floating! Ahem. Are we gonna not talk about the floating person over there? Did- Hey, did, did you guys see what down there? There was a fu- there. Mm -hmm. there- There seems to be an anime fighting game character just sitting over there. There's an unfinished Toho Project person right over there. Mother Superior finds out I've come here alone. That's why she won't find out. There you go. Boom. Also, what's so bad about the cathedral? Hey, look, Froggy. Um, I literally just passed the frog. Where is it at? Also, what do you mean next? Rose was out of your bag. Hey you! You little froggy! What are you doing? Whoa! Crystals of time, Chris Bell. What are... I mean, who... How do you know my name? So many questions. Matthias the Frog, at your service. I have been keeping an eye on you for some time now. On me? Why? I suspected you had been chosen, my dear. It appears I was correct. Chosen? By whom? What are these crystals? Why me? More questions. The past and the future have revealed themselves to you. Come, see for yourself. I... I can't... I don't want this! Nothing to fear, child. You have much to learn about your powers. Powers? This is a curse! Why is this even happening? You're upset. Perfectly understandable. But I know someone who can help. He lives in a little hut down by the lake. Leave town? Mother Superior will worry. She would be very worried if she saw you like this. Is it another talking frog? If only, but sadly, no. Trust me, little one. Let us go immediately. Okay, so now we finally discovered... How does one put this? The world as we see it through Chris Tale. A combination of future, past, and present. I kind of don't want to see what happens if I go further into the future this way. That will not help. I physically can't. Thank. I, I'm kind of glad actually that I can't see. That will and not I can't help. see what happens if he went to the past. So you have all the old characters still on the left, the young characters stay on the right. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I can barely see. Hmm. Oh, I can all decent when they get old. Um, can I talk to them again? How am I supposed to tell them? Hmm. What about this guy? Hey. What am I supposed to oh. Do? Oh, I actually just straight up can't talk to him. Okay. It's just all people. Wait, which way was I heading again? Just a little further. We are almost there. I don't remember. You said by the lake, right? Uh, town exit, uh, mayor's estate. I don't remember which way I'm supposed to be going. Well, hello! We said a little house by the lake. Uh, is this the house? That's not really a house by the lake. Here we are. He lives just over there in that hut. Perhaps you should let me do the talking. Should I? Should I really? I mean, I'm not so sure I trust you quite yet. You are literally a talking frog. Also, I don't seem to see myself in past or future, because I'm always in the present, so I wonder what the heck is happening. And also, if he's in that hut there, that means that there's secrets over here. Also, look at the land. Aha! 
mana potion it looks like a juice box i just gotta say that right now why does it look like a juice box uh juice box why did it say juice box well I suppose no time like the hey, present answer the door go away i'm busy open the door you pompous child we have important business jesus christ you sound like the narrator for like battle block theater Matthias. and pit people It would be cool if they open the door in like the past or something. That'd be really nice. Your child, manners. You're speaking to a revered time mage. Now, who might you be? Crispel. Um, sir. Ma'am. Crispel is Bob. both crystals of time. Ridiculous. Impossible. Why? Not even I've been able to. Yet it has happened. No. No, no, no. There's something else at work here. Can someone please tell me what's going on? Patience. I am Wilhelm the Wise. You, it seems, are a time mage. As am I. And while my powers have led to my youthful appearance, yours are the gift to see possibility. Possibility? I thought it was the future. Incorrect. It is a possible future. Perhaps a practical demonstration will help. Take this seed and plant it over there. Hmm, you can check your items by pressing enter. Okay, plant it over where? Over here? Uh... Oh, can I just... Plant it, I guess. What do you see in the future? A tree! It's growing from the seed I planted! Exactly! A glow fruit tree to be specific. But take care, it will only grow if you care for it. Otherwise, it will wither and die. So, if I do something in the present, I can affect the future? Obviously! Has that not always been the case? Now, however, you have the ability to see these future possibilities. So choose your actions accordingly. I should use this to check up on Mother Superior and my sisters. They'll be wondering where I've gone. Thank you, Wilhelm. Yes, yes. Go to your sisters. You've given me much to ponder, young mage. Hmm. The question now becomes... What the heck? Like, look at her now in the future. She's fine in the present, but if you go in the past, she's still exists just not quite the same now what happens if i actually do go all the way over here go beyond and hit next oh, okay fine i guess i can't just exit the world that way i was hoping that it would be you know i could just go out and go back into the world map like that but apparently not hmm that's actually really cool but i can't grab like the fruit i can't exactly go into that future and take something out also what the heck hold on you see a sapling here. I didn't even realize it grows into a tree there. That is actually really cool. You can even see like the bushels are young there but old here. It's like they had to make three different maps and play them on top of each other. Kind of like a triple version of Alex the Kid that I just did and also Halo Combat Evolved. Hmm. Why does it look so purple over here now? Was that always like that? Huh. Wait a minute. How far into the past could this be? He's still young. Why would someone do this? Or he's still old, I should say. Sorry. And this is the future. Oh. So that's when her... That's when she's grown up. But shouldn't Marco be there? Should Marco not be where he was just before? I want to see what happens over here. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Is she now like the queen or is she just like a royal guard? And also, I want to see what this guard over here looks like in the future. Are they even still going to be there? Oh my god, they're like an old witch kind of lady. I don't even know how to describe that. Hmm. It's strange. Ooh, and I can see the past now. 
when I go back. Oh my god, so young. Still there, but the farmer and him are just not there in the future, which is kind of a shocker. Whoa. Wait, wait, wait. And she's still like a kid there. So like, it's very weird because of how far in the past to go. Like, he's still old there. But he's young here. Wait, wait, wait. So is... That's him now. That's him in the past. And that's her in the future. But this is the grandpa, I guess, over there. Oh my god. Hmm. I never thought to think of it that way. Kind of cool. But what happens again if I go... Oh, I will not be able to see. Future? This is the future. No. How could this happen? Matthias, what? What in the world? What happened? Hmm. Strange. Crisbell, you had me worried. Mother Superior, you're okay. The orphanage is still here. Well, of course. What's got you so excited, child? Did something happen? No, I mean, not yet. I went to get my rose, then Matthias showed me how I could... Matthias? Yes, he... he was just here! At least give me the rose you spent all morning looking for. Y yes Mother Superior. Now go find your friend. And don't take all day, you still have to prune these roses. Okay, so now I have to go and find the frog. Where is the frog gonna be at? Matthias? I thought it best not to upset your mother superior with the appearance of a talking frog. Hmm? Uh Crisbell, I'm sorry if I upset you by leaving. No, I mean, yes, but it's the orphanage. I saw its future. Abandoned. Empty. How could that happen? I don't know, but let's look around town. Perhaps your new powers can shed light on this. And how exactly do we do that? I mean, we can't really talk to people, can we? Hey, Chris, if you see my mom, don't tell her where I am, okay? Deal? What a love. Well, that's not gonna help me much. Um, probably the king, or maybe. Unfortunate. Unfortunate? The Millers are homeless. Without the apothecary, the town has no medicine. Only in the future, and only if you let it happen. If I let it happen? But no, oh, you're right. Hmm. Okay. Why would someone? Um. Excuse me. I think your shop has rot problems. I don't have time to worry about that right now. If you want to talk raw, talk to the carpenter over to the west. So you mean... Oh, huh. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Good morning. Can you help me? There's a problem with the houses. A problem? Great. What did you see, girl? They're rotting away from the inside. In a few years, there won't be anything left. You saw rot on the inside? From the outside? Neat trick. Sounds like someone's been telling you stories about Ash Blight. Happened back when I was a kid. Would have lost most of the town if the old apothecary hadn't brewed up a batch of green leaf tonic. Hmm. Can you make some? Do I look like an apothecary? Go ask June. She's the one who knows about this stuff. Charming fellow. All right, easy enough, easy enough. Why would excuse me? I was wondering if you could help me. You and half the town. No, no, I can't. Someone tore the labels off of my mushrooms. That sounds bad. Bad. It's terrible. One of these is red button. Good for digestion. Great on a salad. One of them is ground death cap. Even the tiniest bit could be deadly. An important distinction, wouldn't you agree? 
Of course, with no labels, it's impossible to tell them apart. Which is why we're going to have to end up going to the past and telling her what the labels are. Can't you just throw them out and make some more? Sure, of course. It would take weeks to find the mushrooms, days to prepare them. I don't have time to redo it all. <sighs> My father used to do all of that. He bottled and labeled them years ago. I'm sorry. I wish I could help. But I can. It'd be nice to have help around here. Since Dad died, though, I try to keep everything the way he left it. But there are only so many hours in the day. Sorry. I've got to get back to work. No wonder she's upset. They all look alike. I suppose they do. Let me try something. Uh, I can't see them in the past at all. Allow me. How to press S to prepare a time hop and press left to make Matthias hop to the past? Time hop. Time hop. To the left. Kind of weird. He's a tadpole now. Oh, oh, what the heck? Just that little nudge. Ah, there. Okay. Well, this one has a skull on it. I imagine this is the death cap. Okay, and then back to the present. Good, good. Kids were playing with one. So what you're saying is, if we hop ourselves, hop, hop our, hop ourselves back to the to the right, why can I not go to the right? I'm time hop. Okay, that was weird. It wouldn't let me like. Wait, hold on. I want to see what happens if I go to the right. What happens if I go there? I am a big frog. Jesus Christ. Hmm. If only I could talk to half of these people. But that does mean that all I have to do is go back here and talk to them. Chris, check out you took that from June's. Do you know what you've done? It's only a sticker. You can't just take things from stores. Especially not the apothecary. Some of her ingredients could be dangerous. Sorry, Chris. Skull sticker. This is as much proof as we are likely to get. More than likely, but let's give it to her. Miss June, we found your label. It goes on the bottle with the red lid. Where did you find it? Some kids took it. They just thought it was a cool skull sticker. I don't think they meant any harm. Of course they didn't. What's done is done. I'll talk to their parents about this later. Thank you, Chris Bell. I really appreciate all you've done. You appreciate me enough to make a green leaf concoction? I forgot what the name of it was already? This might be a good time to ask her about the tonic. Well, then why didn't I continue talking? Chris Bell, was there something you needed? Yes. Do you know how to make green leaf tonic? Of course. Unfortunately, I don't have any glow fruit in stock. It's very rare and it doesn't keep. Of course. Not many uses for it, but it's essential for green leaf tonic. Is there any glow fruit near Nareen? Maybe I can find some. I wouldn't get your hopes up, but ask Magda by the cathedral. She knows the plants in the area. You might get lucky. Or, or, like smart people, like extremely smart people, we're just gonna go here. I know literally exactly where glow fruit is. I planted, but the fruit is going to take forever to grow. Then perhaps we should skip ahead, or rather, I will. Time for a time skip. Yes, yes, yes. After you did it once, I don't need two times. That's a little bit too much tutorial. Here it is. Now to bring it back to Crisbell. I would like to discuss, uh, something with you. I should not get too far from Crisbell. Okay, fine. Fine. Yes! Okay, alright, alright. Fine, 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 fine. 
I gotta be over here first in order to do that, and then I gotta go time skip. Ah! You did it. It's not much, though. It will have to do. Let us go see the apothecary. So, what happens if I take that and then use that, and then get the green leaf tonic, and then what happens if I go back to the present and never take care of that tree? How does that not create a paradox? Just saying, just, just saying. I mean, that probably wouldn't happen, but still. I have glow fruit. Will one be enough? That will do. Give me just a minute. Here you go. There's enough only for one dose, but it's free of charge. Oh, don't worry. You. You'll be needing it. Well, I finally have the green leaf tonic. I thought you'd be happier. What is it, Crisbell? There's only enough to fix one house. What can I do? Oh, they're both suffering from rot. Ah, yes. Even with the crystals, there is only so much you can do to help. It appears you must make a decision. Oh, no. Oh, Matthias. No matter what I choose, one of the houses will be ruined. You are a time mage, Crisbell. Decisions such as this, they will not be uncommon. So either I could A, pick to choose this house and have it not suffer from rot, or I could choose the apothecary and have them not suffer from rot. If I choose this house, well then shoot. Then Marco will have, still have a place to live because he'll inherit it. But if I choose the apothecary, the town will still have medicine. If I don't choose one of the two, then I'm screwed. Oh, that's real bad. Also, dang, I didn't even bother to think I could go all the way that way. Because I thought maybe, you know, he might still be there. But shoot, he, he ain't there no more. And that's kind of sad. Mm. Family of three, though, versus an apothecary. A family-owned generational apothecary. I mean, I made the green leaf toxin for this specifically, but I don't know which place to choose. I mean, if I choose the apothecary, then technically I should be able to like they should be able to make more. Shoot! Oh, this is gonna suck. Uh, but I have to go to the family of three, especially since my name is Marco. Hello, Crispo. I overheard the carpenter talking about your house. Something about ash blight. Mrs. Miller, I overheard the carpenter talking about your house. Something about ash blight. Said I should give you this. Ash blight? That's awful. My grandfather told me stories about it. It spread after the fires down in the farmland years ago. Thanks so much, Crispell. I don't know what we'd do if we had lost the house. Of course, Mrs. Miller. I'm glad I was able to help. I'm so sorry, but I had to pick the place that literally has three kids or two kids. I'm so sorry. Crisbell, look! Do you see how your actions have affected the future? I suppose. Yes, I do, unfortunately, and I see how my actions did not affect the apothecary. But what'll happen to the apothecary? What if the town needs medicine? One problem at a time, little one. Remember, most of the town remains unchanged. We're no closer to finding out what happens to the orphanage. We have more immediate issues to deal with. Look! Smoke! Farms are on fire. That's what brought Ashblight to Nareem the last time. We've gotta go. Crispell, wait! What? What are you talking about? Wait, where did you see where am I supposed to go? Whatever's going on, it all seems to lead back. We should go check. Oh, oh, so you mean this way? There's literally something happening here. Oh shoot. I didn't think that that's what they meant, but there's actually something happening like over here. Wait, wait, no, no. Where was the farms? Uh, it was back up into the right by Marco, right? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, probably. I think that's what it was. Dang, dang, if only that glow fruit tree produced more fruit. I should have taken better care of it. Marco, you better appreciate your house, I swear to God. Oh my God, it's in the present. It's not even in the past, it's in the present. Dear God, wait, so if I deal with this, does that mean that the Ash Blight won't come later on? It can't be too late. It can't be. Crispell, get out of here. It's goblins. They've torched the fields. Run, girl. There's nothing you can do here. I can help. Just let me. Don't be foolish. Let the soldiers do their work. 
and pray that they're up to the task. He's right, Chris Bell. The crystals won't be enough. Quickly, we must see Wilhelm again. And why exactly is that? Oh my god. This place is burning. Oh no, we gotta go. Wilhelm! Apparently we need your help. Back again? What is it now, Time Mage? Goblins are attacking the farms. We've got to do something. Matthias said you could help. And how exactly can she do... How exactly can she do that from here? Did he? He's right, I suppose. With your talent and my training, perhaps in a few years. In a few years? Yes. Years the goblins are... The goblins are okay, I was going to say. Now. Patience. You're a time mage. Try to act like one. Hmm. There's always the sword. Ridiculous! The sword is much too powerful for a novice. The strain would be too much. Enough. You asked for my help, Frog. The sword is the answer. If the girl is everything you believe, she may well survive. It doesn't matter. I'll do it. Very well. This should be interesting. What in the world? Where have I just gone to? Oh, I am in time and space. Crispell, the goblins! But Mother Superior, my friends, I have to protect them! Go. I'll look after them. Meet us at the cathedral. We'll be safe there. Now go! Thank you, Wilhelm. I suppose the cathedral is the one thing that does truly survive. Wait, but didn't we just fight these guys? To reach the town. This is a real fight, Crispell. Time to use your new skills! With the sword enhancing your powers, you should now be able to send your enemies to either the future or the past. Give it a try! Now how does that work? Invoke future crystal? I press Z! Dang, am I gonna have to keep my health too? Who are you supposed to be? Hello, my name is. Tell me if we survive. Let us show him. All right, invoke the past. Can I attack? Cool. Oh, I didn't know I was gonna get attacked. Barry, nice. Invoke the future crystal! Shouldn't he be dead? Not again! Burning! Not bad. I'm Christopher, by the way. Definitely pressed Z there! Uh, healing juice. Definitely need to use that on Chris Bell. Jesus Christ, she needs to heal real bad. What do you mean, break the future crystal? Like, does it send them to the future and then they're stuck there? How exactly is is this working for them? So now I might be able to touch these two and actually attack them if I send them to the future. There. It's too less of them. 
I've been chasing those things since I left St. Clarity. We've got to stand. Hold your ground. <laughs> Galley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. I wasn't expecting that. This I thought it was going to come to her. Wait. Their shield is made of metal. Use your water skill, and I'll send them into the future. Got it. Wait, the future? Okay, wait, hold on. What do you mean? Pass? Skill. Water. Perfect. Now to open the future crystal. Got it. Invoke future crystal! What's this? Hmm. I feel stronger. <laughs> Big mistake! Careful. They did something to our shield. Some stupid rust. <laughs> Who cares? Ow. So they are slightly stronger. Uh, skill. I don't have any skills yet. So when do I actually, like, stop? Them. Like, it says the enemy has been rusted. I mean, I don't get exactly how this is supposed to work. Like, can I break it now or do I wait? Like, can I break the crystal and send them back? Jesus Christ, that was a lot. Turn up the heat. Okay, that's a little bit better. But Jesus Christ, I'm gonna have to survive that every single time now. Wait, if I do skill... I don't know if that's actually gonna like help very much. I wonder if I, like, break it. How that works. Like, it is rusted, but... But now can I break it and bring them back? Plus, I don't see what their health is. <laughs> Are they even trying? Are they? Am I trying right now? I don't really even know. Like, how, how well am I doing right now? Plus, how in the world are they sending things to the past? Like, I get that I'm sending an echo to, like, the future and stuff. But, how exactly is this working? Also, I'm so glad I got the timing down now. I just can't get the timing down for him. Okay, at this point, I feel like I might have to... God dang it. Okay, that's not good. Uh, hold up. Item... Was it Flask of Feathers? Bring her back. Good. That's good. You need to heal your own darn self with some healing juice. But I don't know, should I should I break the future or what? Maybe I should break what if I break it? Turn up my feet. Hmm. Oh, come on! I pressed both times there! 
Let's break the future crystal. That's not good. Nope, it's definitely not good. So no, we, we kind of need them to have it, like... Skill, water, wet them. And then invoke the future crystal. You say how clever. This again. Have it your way. Careful. They did something. Some stupid. Hmm. <laughs> Are they even trying? I don't know. But this is taking a long time for this. This is a long freaking fight. to hear of this. Go. Ah, fine. Whew. Hey, we actually got some XP for once. After all that. It only took like a half hour. <laughs> Monsters to Narim? I know this was your way of getting the farm. You wanted this land for your industrialization project. This was all you. Everything I do is for the future of Narim. For your daughter's future. I would never put anyone at risk. Mayor Anton, if I may divert our focus, this was clearly set up by an unknown party. And on that topic, tell me, Crisbell. Where did you get that strange sword? Um, you know... Miss Lana, this was a gift from Mr. Wilhelm and Matthias. Oh? And who are these strangers you seem to know so well? What do they want with Noreen? Is it possible? Did they set this up? And are you part of their scheme? Miss Lana, no! We were just trying to help! Enough! Guards! Seize her and the shielded fellow. We'll lock them up until we can extract a confession. We have to go now. Yep, we're out of here. Wilhelm said he'd meet us there. We gotta book it. You made it. I knew you'd be able to wield that sword. Well done. And as promised, your friends are all here. In fact, your mother's superior. Crisbell, is that you? Thank the lady. Mother Superior, I'm so sorry. Oh, shh, dear. Your interesting new friend here has told us a great deal already. I won't claim to understand all of this, but you're safe. That's all that matters. Safe? Maybe for now. The Empress won't stop with Nareem. The Empress? The Empress of Time. A formidable foe and far beyond our current capabilities. And those idiots in town are too busy pointing fingers to see who saved their worthless skins. Run from her if you want. I'll go myself if I... Enough! Don't be stupid, boy. You'll need all the help you can get. Which means, I suppose, that I'll be going as well. Going? I can't leave! The orphanage! My family! No harm will come to your sisters, dear. Not while I live. But Mother Superior, it's not just that. Matthias, tell them! Matthias? Where did he go? He's slippery, that one. Even for a frog. He'll turn up soon. Count on it. The soldiers will be here soon. Quickly, girl. I... fine. I'll go. But I'll return, I promise. You better. Those roses still need pruning. 
Don't think I've forgotten. Oh, now you talk about that. For real? Ugh. Now, get moving. And thus begins... Merciful lady, watch over my Crisbell. Guide her, shield her, comfort her, for she has a long road ahead. And when she is finished, O oh great lady, take her gently in your arms and bear her home. Be safe, dear girl. Also, how convenient that it just splits up just like the time powers do. And that has been Chris Tales. Ah, that was actually really nice. I kind of like how it goes. I have to say, it does feel very similar to, say, Almost Hero. What is Colosseum going to be? I feel like this is basically going to be a boss rush or something like that. Welcome to Colosseum, Crystal Mage. You'll face increasingly harsh battle until you face off against a unique boss. You will not recover between battles. I recommend playing the demo first if you haven't. Uh, would you like to first learn how to use him? Uh, sure. I suppose I could. It would be nice to kind of see the boss mode for this. Now watch carefully, children, as I demonstrate the results of years of research. What are you talking about? In addition to normal attacks, I can summon Eucondragoras. Eucondra for short. Let me show you how it's done. First, select Skill. Then select Poison. Finally, select Throw Eucondra. What? Skill? Poison? Throw Eucondra? And I can't throw it the other way? an enemy the poison will deal damage to it once per turn but that's it what do you think will happen if you send that poisoned enemy into the future Chris Bell the poison will take effect all at once exactly now it's my turn again I'm going to plant one of my little Eucondra on the other side one more time. Select skill. Now select poison. And then plant Eucondra. Okay, that's kind of weird. So skill, poison, plant Eucondra. I figured it would now, be... bring the enemies back to the present so time advances for them. I figured it'd be like the future one where if I then do the thing, it'll poison them and then they take wow. damage all at once. That side is poison now. But they only take it over yes. time. The spores of the plants are just as poisonous as the root. And they spread easily over the wind. I'm sure there are lots of other ways we can mix our magic. Sweet. So let's see what your actual attacks are though. Do you have any other things? Oh, you have a skill for a heal? Oh, that's gonna be cool. Okay, I'm kind of off with her for a bit, but I'll get used to it. So, wasn't ready for that. What skills do I have? Heal. Really? I also have heal? God, I wasn't ready for that. Wait, what? You just start me off? I wasn't ready to just straight up fight right now. Hmm. Do 
you think you're going to be able to take them out before I have to worry about anything? I guess not. Ooh, parry. Ten! Nineteen. Jesus Christ, you freaking hurt a lot. Victory! Do you want to keep fighting? Uh, sure! You know what? Fine. I'll try and go as far as I can with this. Oh my god, I I was not ready for the round start fighting. Strength buff, huh? Alright. Let's, uh... No, we can't pass on this turn. Because that would take way too long before we could actually do something. We should use a... Something that I could try and attack him with. Could fireball? Oh heck yeah! I kind of want to see what would happen now. Let's use a skill. No, you skill poison. Throw you, Condra. Point that there, and then when we come back, nice parry. Deflect it. Oh my god, that hurt. Invoke Future Crystal. Take all that damage right now. I could not deflect that. I am definitely going to need to heal myself. Actually, can I use this skill right now? Actually, no. Actually, yes. No. Wait. Skill. Fireball. I'm playing magic power. Fire the fireball! I did parry. Nice. Okay. Let's get rid of you. How are you not dead? How are you still not dead? I am kind of burning to death here. Jesus Christ. Alright. We need to use, uh, no. Skill, we need to heal. What? No. Heal. Oh! Play this rest after a while, heals your entire party. Uh, throw it right now. Good. How much did I heal? Oh, that did not heal for enough. Good thing I parried that. Jesus Christ. We will also use that skill, and we also will heal as well. Boom! We've been healed. Ow! I am still burning. Probably should have put that dude back in the pass. Kaha! Victorious! Ah, oh, that was good. I think I'm gonna pass. Yes, I am aware I'm gonna have to start from the beginning. God, I don't even know how long the Coliseum is gonna take, but I think that's just a little bit too long for this demo. And honestly, after I was so invoked with feelings of emotion after before, I did not think that the Coliseum was going to be an eight battle long boss rush, essentially. Well, not really boss rush, plus I do have literal heal, so probably won't be too hard. Either way, for now, I think we're going to end this episode here. So if you guys like this video, my comment subscribe down below. And I hope to see you guys again once more with more Steam One Shots, more Next Fest game demos, and more Chris Tales. Peace.